Okay, so I've, I've got the black pipe in now, and you can see it's a lot nicer now. I have the cements underneath, and I've got my nice new pipe in there. I banged up the edges a little bit trying to hammer it in, but it shouldn't matter. So now I'm ready to get my next attachment in here. I've got to put a converter piece in here. for this particular stove. And I'm going to be using a trim ring on it too. So here's my trim ring. I'll basically go right there. And I've got this piece here. So you put the trim ring over and basically I'm just going to stuff it in there. I'm going to put a little bit of concrete mortar. Again, this is quick that I've mixed up. I'm just going to kind of line the edges a little bit with it. It hasn't hardened yet. I don't know, just, just a little extra security. Some people don't do this, but it'll make it harder to take off if you have to remove it. So That's a disadvantage, I guess. But I'm just going to try to see if any of this will stick to the inside here. I just like the little extra security that comes with having having a pipe that won't come out. So just using a trowel, I'm just basically putting a little bit around it. Not all of it's going to stick, but hopefully enough of it does. So that this doesn't come out. I may also take the actual ring here and just kind of put a little bit of mortar here around it. So I'm just going lightly around putting a little bit of mortar on it. Just hoping for a little bit more tighter of a seal. You don't have to go too heavy with it. Again, some people don't even do this step. It might make it a little bit harder to get in now. We shall see. Okay. So, I think that'll be good. Putting my trim ring on. I should have probably done this before I put the mortar on. I might make my trim ring a little messy. But that's what black spray paint is for, barbecue paint. So I'm going to try to smooth the edge here because I forget about the trim ring. Easy to go on. There, now the trim ring is on. So now I can try getting this pipe on. And it's not going to go easily. It never does for me. This right here converts it from 8 inches to 6 inches for my stove. So basically I have to take a 6 inch pipe and get it to fit this 8 inch hole. Which it's not doing, so I'm going to bang out the edges a little bit, which in doing so I'll lose a little bit of mortar. And try again. I 
again, I'm just showing you how I do it. Which is not the right way, necessarily. So, please consult an expert. I am not an expert. As you can see. I think that'll fit now. So let's push it in. Yay. It's actually gonna go in. What do you know? We did something right. I'm just gonna bang it in a little bit more. Sure, it's safely in. Far enough, it's not yet. Still not happy with it yet. that I bang the pipe a little bit but I really want to make sure it's in there good. So take a couple wax a couple more wax here maybe. Not looking good, actually. 